What is going on everyone? Steven here from Breakout Cards back at it again with another video. And today we're gonna be doing things a little differently. Normally when we go over our subs, we just show off the cards, but this time we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play guess that grade. So what happened was Ryan and I ended up looking at all these cards before they got submitted and we wrote down our grades and we're gonna see how accurate we are. Starting it off, we have our first group of cards. Unfortunately, Ryan did not get to see these before I ended up submitting them to SGC. So we didn't end up putting grades on these. So these will be a normal reveal and then we'll start our guess our grade. All right, let's get into it. First stack, we have an Edison from the, from Kusi Cigarettes. Not to be confused with the Ogdens because they look very similar. We have a Napoleon Susini. Got the Authentic. We have the Edison looking forward. Believe it or not, there are two Edisons in this set. I believe we showed them off on the channel before. I want to say that this one right here, we ended up starting the pop count on, but don't quote me on it. I believe so. And I, I showed it off in a prior video. If you want to see any of those, please check out the channel more because I do go into these cards in depth in all the videos. Next, we have 65 Tops AL Home Run Leaders with Mantle and Killebrew. 1960 tops Babe Ruth Babe hit 60 home runs in a season card. These are a great alternative to Babe Ruth cards are very expensive. So these are ones that you can grab for a relatively cheap price. 61 tops Roger Maris. 71 tops Thurman Munson. 56 tops Willie Mays. 60 tops Bob Clemente and ending off our normal size cars. We have a 66 tops Mickey Mantle. All right. Few more to go. First, we have a Jerry West from the 6970 tops group. And this one actually graded out pretty well, considering that these are very condition sensitive, given that they're just very large cars, very easily to ding. So five, five decent grade there. Speaking of affordable roots, this one right here has Gehrig and Ruth, but the Manama Stamps. Very affordable cards, especially once you get to the mid and lower grades. An oddball for sure, but definitely cool for any huge Babe Ruth or Gehrig collector. And rounding it off, we have a Ben Franklin card from the Gurren Botrin set, which I believe sold chocolates, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was a chocolate group. All right, guys, we just finished off the normal group, and now we're going to get into Guess That Grade. Stay tuned. Starting out with our first group here, we have a stalwart George Washington. I said that this would grade a 2, and Ryan said 1-5, so pretty close there. We were right on the mark, only within half a grade off. Pretty accurate there. Next card, we have the Ben Franklin stalwart. I guessed... Two, Ryan gets two, and it ended up getting a three. So not bad there. Pleasantly surprised. Always like it when we are more conservative. All right, so Edison here. One thing, this is not a Darwin card. We might have to go ahead and get this re-slabbed. They just ended up putting the wrong name by accident. But the Edison card, Ryan gets three. I guess three, and this came in as a three, five. So not bad there. Next card, the Coosies Ben Franklin. I said three, Ryan said three, and ended up getting a four. Next one right here, this is a um, Negro Leaguer from the Aguilita set, Valentin Drake. Ended up getting authentic minimum size. Not sure what we're going to do with this one yet, but I really thought that it was normally sized. But sometimes with these cards, you, you just never know because sometimes they just came out um, mismeasured and etc. And we said this would get numerical grade, but it ended up coming back authentic. Next, we have the Arkansas car from the Allen and Ginter set. Ryan guessed two five, I guess three, and ended up getting a three. So so far, I'm, I'm I'm getting some more right than Ryan here, but you never know that could change as we go through. Next, we have Maryland. 
Ryan gets two five. I guess three, and we're both wrong on this one. I end up getting a two. So Oregon, Ryan guess three. I guess four. I end up getting a two. Wow. So we're a little we're a little ambitious on these flags here so far. Next we have Illinois. Ryan guess three. I guess four on this one too. Also two five. So yeah, yeah, that's definitely the theme though. We were a little too high on these Allen and Gitter cards, maybe because they're older, and we thought that. Oh, you know, it, it's just harder to get some nicer cards of these. Very interesting. Renor ended up getting a one. I thought I was going to get a one five, and so did Ryan, but this ended up pulling the one. I wonder why, too. It seems decent. I guess the back was just too bad, and they just had to give it the one. Francis Ferdinand. This card looked really nice, and I believe this is the, the, the chest up one. And we thought that, uh, I don't see, this is, I think, the normal one that we thought was going to go ahead and get, like, a really good grade. I think it looks really nice, but ended up pulling a 2-5. Ryan and I are both off on this one. We said it was going to be, like, a 5 or a 6. I wonder why. This is just all, you know, you know nothing there. I, I wonder why this one ended up, you know, grading not as good as we thought it would. But it is what it is. It happens. Next one, also Ferdinand. Ryan said 1-5 on this. I also said 1-5. We're both correct on that. Next, we have Edison looking forward in a 2.5. And Ryan said it was going to get a 2.5. And I said that it was going to get a 3. So he was right on that one. He definitely gets more half grades. Like he was trying to be more exact. But he got it right on the nose. Next, we have the Wright Brothers. This card, I thought was going to get a 1-5. Ryan thought I was going to get a 1, and it got a 1, so he was right on that one. Next, we have the Ulysses S. Grant from Apex Coffee. Ryan guessed that it would get a 1.5, and I guessed that it would get a, a 2, so he was right on that with the 1-5. Next up, we have the Darwin Ogden Sydney issue. Ended up getting a two here. I thought it was going to get a 1.5, and Ryan thought it was going to get a 2.5. So both of us were off on that one. Next, we have Conan the Barbarian. And this is, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Conan. And I thought it was going to get a 5.5. And... Ryan thought it was going to get a six, so he, he nailed that one right on the dot. Next, we have J.H. Taylor. I thought this was going to get a 3.5, and Ryan thought it was going to get a four, so we're both off there. Next, we have the Mini Edison, and... Ryan thought this was going to get a 2.5 and we got 3.5. So that's good. And I thought it was going to get a 1.5. So I, I guess I really did not like this one. I was way off there, but pleasantly surprised. We'll definitely take that. Next, the Jules Fern. That one, Ryan thought it was going to get a 2. I thought it was going to get a 1.5 so I was a little bit closer but I ended up getting a one I guess it was just two off cut to where they just could not I guess just two MC to where they couldn't even give it a one five even though it looks like there's a little border there all right so the U.S. card I thought it was gonna get a one five Ryan thought it was gonna get a one and he was right on the money with that yeah, there was the paper loss on the back, but I like to, you know, sometimes think that they'll sometimes give those a higher grade. All right, next we have two of these here. We have two Elvis Presleys, both in four fives. And I thought they were both going to get fours. And Ryan thought one was going to get a five, and, and maybe this one's going to get a five, and this one's going to get a three. So we're both a little bit off there. Kind of tough to predict those half grades. Next, we have Harry Houdini. I thought this was going to get a three. Ryan thought this was going to get a 3.5. 
ended up getting a four. So pleasantly surprised there. It is borderless, even though the Susinis do look a little different than this sometimes. We'll take that. Next, we have the Grant. I thought I was going to get a 1.5, and Ryan thought I was going to get a 1, and he was right. Yeah, I guess I was just a little bit too ambitious on some of these, maybe not being 1s, and it clearly showed. <laughs> Moving right on to the, I guess I'm going to might just pull out these two here, and I think I have another one back there as well. They're going to be part of the uh, James Jeffrey set. So first, the Johnson. This is the, the ten of spades, so that... I thought I was going to get a 4-5. I nailed that right on the dot. And Ryan thought it was going to get a 5. So I ended up getting it right on that one. Guess the half grade correctly. Next, we have the John Sullivan. This is the king of diamonds. I thought I was going to get a 3-5 and I'm getting a 4. And Ryan thought I was going to get a 4. He got that one right on the money. And next one here is South Carolina. Got a 3.5, one of our, I believe one of our higher grades in, in these that we submitted in this submission. I thought it was gonna get a three and Ryan thought it was gonna get a three as well. So we're both off on that one by a half grade. Next to A Battelle, end up getting a five. This is the ace of clubs. I thought I was gonna get a three, so pleasantly surprising there. And Ryan thought it was going to get a four. So yeah, really good when that happens higher than what we thought. And last one, this little group here, the Robert Fulton. This one, I thought I was going to get a one five. I guessed it right on the dot. And Ryan thought it was going to get a two. So I ended up being right on that one. Moving right along with our penultimate group here. So we have a Mary Curie, famous scientist. Ended up getting a one. Ryan thought it was going to get a two, and I thought it was going to get a 1.5. So both off the mark on that. I wonder why, because we don't see any creasing necessarily. I know a little staining on the back, but maybe a little bit of a harsh grade there. Interesting. Next, we have two Sheridans here. One of them, unfortunately, didn't get a grade, but let's just go by this one here which we probably marked lower given the centering. So let's check it out. One of them actually, Ryan, I'm guessing it right, that one of them ended up getting authentic for a minimum size and the other one getting a two. And he thought that one was gonna get a one five. And I thought they were gonna both get two. So I guess one right and one wrong. The Kurt Cobain, Ryan thought this was gonna get a seven. I thought it was gonna get a six. So we'll, we'll take an eight on that. I know cards like these are a little bit more lenient. They don't really have, you know, the, your traditional corners. So they do tend to get better grades sometimes. Next, we have the Douglas Fairbanks. I guess we get a one. Ryan, I guess we get a one five. So I was right on this one. Next, we have the Ben Franklin end up getting an A, unfortunately. I think we had that being numerical. Yeah, we both thought it would be a numerical grade. So off on that. Next, we have two Ulysses S. Grants. One of them ended up coming back authentic. The other got a one. We thought, let's see here. Yeah, we, we didn't guess the, we thought it was actually going to get a 2.5. Like Ryan thought it was going to get a 2.5 and a 1.5 ended up being a decent amount less than that. And I thought it was going to be around a um, 1.5. So yeah, we we're both off on that with both of them. Next, we have the Leonardo da Vinci stole. I thought it was going to get a three. So I got that correct. And Ryan thought it was going to get a three as well, I believe. Yeah, I thought it was going to get three as well. So we're both correct on that one. And the Benjamin Franklin... I thought it was going to get a three, so I was off. And Ryan thought it was going to get a three as well. So pleasantly surprised there with the four. Our last group here, and we have the oversized cards. Let's see if we guess these correctly. First off, 
1894 Clark's Robert E. Lee. Really nice artistry on this. I thought it was going to grade a 2.5. Ryan did as well, but ended up getting a 2. Next, we have the Galileo from the Gutenbertrand set. Check it out. The same chocolate set. This Ryan thought it was, I thought it was going to get a three and Ryan thought it was going to get a two five, but only got a one five here. So we're both a little, a little off on that one. Next we have the Washington Palmen. This one I thought it was going to get a one five. Ryan also thought it was going to get a one five. So we were spot on with this card. Next, we have the Great Americans. Ended up getting an authentic, although it looks pretty nice. I don't know why it would, other than that it looks a little maybe slightly diagonal cut here. But, I mean, that seems a little nitpicky. But we both thought it was going to get numerically graded. Unfortunately, it got an A. And last but not least, we have two Titanic cards. One of which being a, a, a they're both true postcards right here i'll show you a little horizontal view so this one right here um I, ryan thought it was going to get a two and i thought it was gonna get a two but i got a two five and the last one i also thought i was gonna get a two and ryan thought i was gonna get a three all right everyone that about wraps up everything i hope from this you take that grading although people can get close and estimate certain grades is a very subjective process with objective measures thrown in or fused into them thank you for viewing and if you guys have any questions comments concerns or want to see anything different in these videos or if you liked what we did here opposed to the normal sub videos we do let us know down below and until next time take care